Kia ora, I'm Dr Julie Douglas. And I'm Associate Professor Catherine Ravenswood. We're researchers with the New Zealand Work Research Institute at, AUK, at AUT in Auckland, New Zealand. We conducted this research in partnership with the New Zealand Human Rights Commission and industry partners. The aim of the research was to understand the um, effect of the 2017 pay equity settlement on those at the coalface of the residential aged care, home and community care and disability sectors as phase one of a three phase research project. So the pay equity settlement came about because of the historic disadvantage that was experienced by women in this sector where low skilled work equaled low value work and it was women's work. So a case was taken and through several court cases and appeals, it was proven that indeed women's uh, wage disadvantage was because of their gender. This paper that we will present at the Regulating for Decent Work conference focuses on the home and community care, aged care sector. This sector experienced considerable regulatory change in addition to the pay equity settlement over the space of a few years. The change intended to reduce precarity and to guarantee minimum hours and cover the time and costs of travelling between clients. So we used focus groups to collect the data from the people involved and while the regulatory changes were well intended, what we did find that for many workers through the implementation and interpretation of the settlement that they were actually worse off and some of them were in more precarious employment environments. So these unintended consequences highlight the difficulty in regulating for social change and raises significant questions as to how regulation can be used to improve workers' rights and to address uh, long-standing discrimination.